All right, I'm recording. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so today we have Miss NMS, aka Miss Nichols. Um, she's currently from the DMV area, and she's here to give us a talent show. Um, Miss <laughs> Nichols, I appreciate you coming on my show. Um, yeah. Uh, can you please introduce yourself? My name is Snicker, aka Not My Style, aka In a Mess, aka Stars, Stars World, Star Love. Anything you want to call me with those names, you sure enough can. I will answer. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. So, how long have you been making music? I've been making music since I was thirteen. I started liking music when I was like seven or eight. My grandmother, she used to sing that Michael Jackson's Who Jackson Five, Who Loving You. So it started off with me loving the same. And then I had to hit about thirteen. My father was a lifeguard at the pool. And he just started he made a hook. And he was like, I want y'all to write to it. And when I started writing it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so what did you Okay, who were some artists that inspired you growing up? Artists inspired me growing up. But really, I really didn't really listen to as much rap growing up. I listened to pretty much R&B like Drew Hill and Jodeci, Tevin Campbell, who else? Deborah Cox, Tamia, all of them. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, who are some artists that you would like to work with in the future? Well, one artist I would like to work with is my dad, but I can never seem to get him in the booth. It's another artist named Safi, and he's from the DMV area too, so he's a good artist. And Money Man. Yes, man. Money Man got it. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, who are some producers that you would like to work with? I'm really not into the producers, per se. That's fine. I do really, really want to work with Juicy J. I want to work with Juicy J. It's just, Juicy J just be on it. Like, he be on it. Um, And probably for real. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, um, how many songs do you have right now that are ready to be recorded in the studio? I don't even know. I can't even count. I can't count. I was sitting here today going over songs, and then when I end up going over a song, I end up writing another verse. So it just for be real? like, yo, it was really good. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, <clears throat> who are some artists in the DMV area that I slept on? Who artists in the DMV slept on? My father, Safi. Uh, who else from the DMV that slept on? You got 3 old Black, Light Show. Light Show was definitely slept on. Light show. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, if you could perform in five different cities, what five cities would you go to? I would perform in New York. Uh, then I'll take it to Atlanta. I want to do Michigan to Chicago, um, Missouri, and Miami. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so, Miss Snickers, my next question for you is, can you spit me one of your uh, verse from one of your songs? Sure. <clears throat> oh, hey, no, 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 be acapella, acapella, acapella. acapella. Yeah, I'm going to get, uh, yeah, just acapella. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, nah, you good, you good. It's okay. okay take your okay. time. You said take my time. Take your time. I was young out here getting it. Scary ass bitches not fucking with it. 
Ask a nigga, see me, he getting his feelings. I'm the type chick that's known to do dealings. Boss up on the lane, nigga, make him feel it. Pussy so tight, make the nigga start to quiver. Never met a bitch like me, how you figure? Counting up money while my nigga hold the trigger. Lay back, cool in my style, I'm a different type of guy. Nigga in my phone, better have a couple thou. Bitter ass hoes, gotta pipe the shit down. She a scary ass bitch, so she didn't make a sound. Nigga, I smoke gas, so that better be loud. All up in my face, he be trying to haul the ground. You could catch a funky ass robbing tricks downtown. Mind fucked up, sleeping on the mama couch. Had the fucking nigga got word of the mouth. Boyfriend mad, cause the nigga picked the south. Met a bitch like me, turned his freak ass out. Tell me in my name, make the nigga wanna shout. Call him can't get with, trying to see what that's about. This man call you sis low key, having doubts. Nigga try to smash, I was trying to buy. I was called a spree fast out. He was looking for some clout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a little code I'm getting over, so I was trying to hurry up and get over to do this interview for y'all. Yeah, yeah, Miss Snickers, Miss Star, Miss Light, Miss World Star, Miss Star Love, Miss In the Mess, Miss. I mean, I'm my style, Miss All That. Hey, okay, hey. Hey man, you hard dog, uh, and it's like you don't sound like nobody else. You only sound like yourself. It's if you came on the track right now, and was rapping with some artist, and I don't have, I don't see the name of it. I'd be like, oh, that's Miss Snicker, or they sound like Miss Snicker. Who that? I'd be like, who that is? They sound like Miss Snicker. That's good. That's good. That's how it's supposed to be. That's for real, good. for real. Um, so yeah, Miss Star. My next question for you is, okay, um. Dang, if you, I don't think you rap sound like anybody, but if you could say that a uh, uh, rap style that you uh, kind of tend to or kind of uh, gravitate to, what artist would that be? See, I don't have a rap style. See, what I did was I realized that everybody came out and they rapped about different things. Or they all wanted to rap about one thing in one song. Me, I have a lot of things I want to talk about. And a lot of things that I can't express just by saying it so I can express by writing a song. So I'm going to talk about how a nigga tried to play with me. I'm going to talk about tricking a nigga. I'm going to talk about fucking on a nigga. And then I'm going to talk about going to sleep all in the same motherfucking song and smoking weed. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. My next question for you, Miss Nikki, is... Can you spit one a second one of your verses from one of your songs? Oh, let me see. Take your time. Take your time. Hmm. What I want to spit. See, I got so many that is so, like, just so good. And then it's like I'm so mad because, like I told you, I just wrote this one earlier. So, um, all right. Woke up this morning, let's play. My OG trying to get me out the way. Got on live, hit me a J. Hope a square nigga stay in his place. Think too slow, gotta be quick. I'm a mom, but I still hit licks. He a daddy, why you checking on a bitch? Hit me up, I'ma treat him like a trick. Main bitch man on some shit. Pop slick, I'ma get her ass hit. Couple goons never know who I'm with. Cherry on top, that's my shit. Run up, don't hand still sit. That's a bitch, I don't need a whole clip. This on some he say shit. Talk back who you off rip. Stay low in the cut, low key. Till a motherfucker try to peep me. Caught his ass trying to give up the D. Oh, star don't miss no sleep. He felt froggy, I told the bitch leave. He a broke nigga, talk ain't cheap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit hard. That shit hard, Miss Star. Man. That's hard. That's hard. All right, so my next question for you is if you could work with any artists that are not um, R&B singers or rappers, who would they be? Everybody knew who my favorite artist was, y'all. Everybody know. King Von was my favorite artist, y'all. Since he passed, it just, like, hurt me a little bit. And, you know, everybody, like, not meeting somebody, but knowing how bad it can real life hurt you and influence you, like, it just real life went me to go. It just took me to off. Like, I just been writing. I just been writing. And then, like, Meeting up with somebody, you know, of a person named Deuce, <laughs> a person name, of the name Deuce, he kind of had me push, start pushing me to write too. So everything that I've been writing has just been getting bigger and better. Like, I'd be like, oh, well, oh, I like this beat. Let me write to this. And then it's just been fire. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, I got to say shout out to him, man. Shout out to Kate Door Records. Shout out to Get Money Fast. Because without him, I wouldn't have met you. Um. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm in Snickers. Um, oh, my next question for you is: <clears throat> All right, so if you can perform in five different countries, what would they be? 
So is Jamaica's a country? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you know I gotta go over there. I gotta meet me with Shada. Like that's just my favorite one. So if I could perform over there and meet me one of those, you know, preferably big, so Max would be good. But Jamaica, I do want to perform like down South America. You know, being an international star is real life a big thing. So you gotta real life hit the major cities. Uh, Africa. I don't know, those just the other three. I don't I ain't really messing with North Korea right now, for real per se. I ain't gonna go that too far. For real, for real. All right, so, Miss Star, can you rap another verse from one of your songs? Uh, yeah, let's see which one I want to spit now. Take your time, take your time. Cause you know I got so many. Rappers. You remember the one that I first heard when you first when I first heard it? What Mr. Uh, Do sent to me? I did that one already. That was the first one I just did. <laughs> no, all right, right, all right. The one that was after that, like the one Mr. Do sent that one, but the one that I heard after that, while commenting on, I was like, "Oh, you hard." Oh, um, I don't. You was kind of like you was kind of like me- harmonizing on that one. I was like, this nigga got me gone, so I'm calling up his phone. No answer now. I'm pulling up to That one. Home. Is that it? I think. I don't know. Yeah, now spit that. Like no rapper shit. I'm on Lil Shorty Dome. Straight Vanessa. Known to pop a fucking clip. Ask your nigga Lil Shorty who you fucking with. Pull up to the whip. Yeah, it's getting dirty. These niggas on my line and these bitches act scary. Think quick, cause these hoes pop a slit. They just mad that they nigga on my dick. Turns out that the nigga was a trick, cashed out on everything but her month of month rent. You popping pussy, dealing with a goofy, fell in love with the nigga, tried to blame it on Cupid, looking stupid, different from bitches choosing winning in the game. Still felt I was losing cause the shit ain't the same. Real shady how this bitch tried, play me, she was motherfucking lucky, I was thinking like a lady, called me crazy, I'm the shit, coming up off a nigga, if a nigga disrespect me on my mama, that's a hit. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm trying to break through my nose. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, man. That's hard, man. Shout out to the whole DMV, man. I'm not trying to be like, not trying to be like that lady off a scary movie. You know how when she was like, why she got the camera on dripping in her nose? <laughs> <laughs> for real. For real. Man, hey, man. Shout out to the whole DMV area, man. Y'all do some of the most slept on. For real. It really is. For as far as artists, but you know what I came to the conclusion of like, it's different states. Like with this music industry, like it's good, but it's very, very bad. What I realized is, it's either you make it, when you do make it, you bow down. If you don't bow down, they kill you off. But as far as DMV artists, they the DMV artists that did make it, they listen. Other than that, all DMV artists to me, they make a little bit of money, but they pretty much blackballed. They don't go nowhere. Unless you're like an actor or something like that. As far as artists, rap artists, the only person that made it was Shy Glizzy, and he really ain't make it that good. Fat Trail signed the deal with MMG, but guess where he at? In jail. <laughs> DC jail. So you got to look at it. Wale in with MMG, but do you hear anything? For real. <clears throat> All right, so, Miss Snickers, my next question for you is... Okay, um, if the deals were right and everything uh sounded right, what three record labels would you sign to? None. You're going to stay independent forever? Yeah. I think that's the best way to go. Do you think you'll ever start your own music label? It depends because even though I'm very, very good at, at music, my passion lies elsewhere. So my music... The money for my music literally will be to fund something else. It's yes, ma'am. It's a bigger plan for me. Absolutely. You feel me? Yes, ma'am. All right, so, Miss Snickers, my next question for you is, once you get Dr. Dre money or once you get LL Cool money, once you get Jay-Z money, what are three uh, businesses that you would like to start up? See, ties right back in to what I was just talking about. It never stops. 
So the first business I will do, I will open up a group home, like how Joe Gibbs did. So it will be a group home for teens. I always wanted to be a foster parent or, you know, like a house parent at the group home that I was at because I realized how it was and how cool it was and how neat it was. So why not open up one and just be everybody drunk and be the whole boss of it or the CEO? So that's one. Then open up a shelter for sexually exploited girls, women, teens, all of that. And probably open up an apartment complex or something. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, I think that's I cool. Like real, estate, like real estate was something I wanted to do too and get into way before I even had my son. It was something about real estate I wanted to do. I just think I look good selling houses, rapping and selling houses since I like to talk too much. I think those go ahead. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right, so, Miss Snickers, my next question for you is, can you rap one more of your songs, if that's okay? Yeah, I got it. This nigga said he want to be my little friend. I think his game real slick. I think he want to stick it in. Fat ass, small waist, make a nigga catch a case. Don't want to throw them bands. Get the fuck up on my face. You throw shade, I throw blades. And I made me let you left. Choosing niggas over money, man. I think that's more for less. You sure you really want this clout? You should know what I'm about. Throw that ass up in the air. Put this pussy on your mouth. Going through a drought world. This pussy make it rain. I got that good, good. Make a nigga go insane. All up in his head, he giving me mad brain. Pussy like a tiger is wild and untamed. Yeah, yeah, Miss Snickers, Miss Star, Miss NMS is not my style. Hey, man, you hard, Miss Miss Star. I'm gonna say that, man. That's that's hard. You tough, for real. And it's like all your songs sound different. I don't know how. I just mean, I'm just looking for something. It's just one song that I would say, okay, this is it. Like, okay, this is it. Okay, this is it. But it's like I keep working on it, so I don't even know how many songs I'm about to come out with, y'all. Because every time I write a song, I'm like, oh, I want to drop this one first. So you know what I was thinking about? Just going to the studio and just dropping them all at the same time. For real. Shoot. It's a it's an artist right now who incarcerated. His name Ola Runt. He from uh Atlanta. But right now he incarcerated in Oklahoma. He just went live today and was like, hey, man. Um, y'all don't 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 forget about me, man. Just wait. I'm dropping in March. I'm dropping in April. I'm dropping in September. I got 300 songs right now that ain't been released yet. So yeah, I'm gonna say this, Mr. Star A. The shoot, if you man, when you go to the studio, every song you got, try to drop all. I'm gonna try to not drop them, but try to make all of them and save them yeah, to your fat. <laughs> For sure. Drop them. That's exactly what I was gonna do. For so real. You were exactly what I was. I was thinking it, you said it. That's the best thing, man. I feel like all artists at least need at least a hundred songs out in my eyes. If you are if you're an artist artist, that's your job. Like yeah, shoot. If you watch cars, you done did, watched over a hundred cars. If you what if you're a waiter, you done waited over a hundred tables. If you're a rapper, you need at least a hundred songs. But hey, you own it, Miss Snicker. You own it, Miss Stars. You got a lot more than other artists right now. And you ain't even you know, and you just starting out for real, like professionally, and you already harder than half the people rapping right now. Man, you got my support a hundred percent. So boom, I'm gonna say this, Miss Star. My next question for you is, all right. So, um, how am I asking? Okay, boom. Would you rather have unlimited shoes or unlimited money? I mean, not unlimited money, unlimited shoes or unlimited clothes. I barely like wearing clothes. As y'all could tell, I barely, if y'all follow my IG, I'm sorry. I barely like wearing clothes and I be in the house. So, you know, um, I mean, it's all right, I guess. I mean, I'm cool. Mm, shoes, clothes, clothes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh, play dress up when I do decide to go out. I'm like, oh, okay, this is cute. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Um, all right, so, miss, all right, let me see how I'm going to ask this next question. All right, so you're a dancer as well, right? Uh-huh. All right, so, um, with being dancer, who are some artists that you would like to dance with or you would like to choreograph their dances? Mm, I don't know. I would 
say Megan and Stallion, Cardi B. We gotta get some style up in there, cause all that little dancing they be doing, I be like, hey, look, uh, uh-uh. we could have, I could have had that joint up and popping, but it's okay. We gotta put them, we gotta teach these girls how to move their ass. See, they ain't grow up in Louisiana or the DMV, so they never really heard of go go music and bounce music unless somebody put them on to them. Versus us, we was we learned, <laughs> we was trying to dance that way. So, you know, just to each his own, but. Y'all holler at me if y'all need no help with y'all business. Okay, for real. All right, so, Miss Star, my next question for you is, how long have you been a model? Well, I just started thinking about modeling last year because everybody kept telling me I had the face and the body for it. I'm like, I don't really like taking pictures, though, or videos, so what do you mean? (laughs) So, you know, I just started, you know, taking little pictures and videos and i'm very good at it yes ma'am yes ma'am what type of modeling content do you create you know i will model lingeries and stuff like that but that's as far as it'll go i wouldn't go too too explicit and stuff like that because you now most people can't handle all this almondy stuff making people go crazy feel me so you gotta keep it at least pg-13 maybe a little rated off <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. My next question for you is, okay, what is your favorite style of modeling that you like to do personally? I like modeling. It doesn't really matter. If I look cute and it's picture worthy, I'm going to take that picture. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If it's just, if, if the scene's right, it's just the snap this, snap that. And most people are like, how you know it's going to come out like this? Or most of the time, I have my son take my pictures because he just be on it. Like, most people wouldn't know the if you go on my Instagram page and you see the picture with me in the, like, pink onesie in the background, my son actually took that picture. Of me. And it's actually one of my best pictures. That's cool. That's cool. Shout out to your son for being a photographer. No, no bull. He was four then. For real. For real. (laughs) All right, so, Miss Star, my last question for you is, can you rap one more of your songs for us before we go? All right, what song do I want to rap? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Do I want Niggas talking shit while well, I came well equipped, laced up with the gang, leave a broke bitch sick, good pussy, good head. A bitch well fed, talking all that square shit, yeah, you out your fucking head. You was with the shit when you hopped in my bed, telling lame ass stories like you out here busting lead. Told the nigga disappear like drop dead Fred. Hard out here, had to listen to my dad getting money. I don't brag while I'm starting on a fag. In the meantime, that's your nigga, you can have him. Spark up a classic, his dick game average. Pussy on his face, kinda sorta like a savage. He said he wanna eat the pussy from the back. I told the nigga better have about a couple fucking racks, throw that ass back. Let me see if you could catch it. I'm looking at his arm and I'm checking for a necklace. Hit the strip and go get breakfast. Sell my on your nigga checklist because I'm breaking on your nigga every time he learned his lesson. Gas in my sex is square. Bitches on some peasants. I'm fucking on your nigga in the foreign. That's Alexis. Drop that shit. Go on, hit a lick. Shorty super thick. Bitches, niggas on my dick. Laced up with the shit. Niggas really want the kid. Ain't starting off the nigga when I really want bread. Give me hey just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so, man, Miss Snickers, man, I want to tell you thank you for coming on my show. Um, Before we go, can you please send a positive message to the younger generation of children looking up to you right now? It's always another way. So don't always sit there and go on your first thought. Don't go on your second thought. Don't go on your third thought. I need your 27th thought. Like, for real. Like, and I know y'all probably sat there and was like, yeah, you probably got that off a movie. Yeah, I really did. But when you actually think about it, it makes sense. When you react off your first decision, it always puts you in an even worse decision than what you already in. So stay low key. 
Don't nobody need to know your name. Don't nobody need to know who you are. And if you need somebody to talk to, my IG is always open. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you again, Miss Star, for coming on my show. Yes, you're welcome. Shout out to you. No tooth, Tony. You know, we've been trying to get this done. You know, and I thank you for letting me come out on your platform. You know, we might have to do this over again, but we're going to leave this for one right at the where it is right now. <laughs> like just sniffling, but it's cool. Um, shout out to Deuce. Shout out to GMF. Shout out to everybody else who wants to come up in this music industry. Stay safe, stay smart, read the fine print. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. This y'all, this Miss Star, Miss Snickers, Miss NMS, Miss Not My Style, Miss uh, World Star, Miss Star Love, all that and everything more, man. Y'all stay tuned. Part three, part four, part five, dog. All right. <laughs>